Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday to you. Pray that you guys received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on, ready to take on this new day. It's a day that we've never seen before. And it's also a day that we will never see again. But it is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We beseech you, O oh Father, save now, send prosperity now. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Bernice. Hey there, Heartbeat Melodia. Hey, Heartbeat Belinda. Heartbeat Troy. Heartbeat Lisa. Heartbeat Eva. Heartbeat Yolanda. Hey, Heartbeat Alice. Hey, Heartbeat Rainy. Hey, Heartbeat Lish. Hey, Heartbeat Anita. Hey, Heartbeat Carolyn. You guys are just rolling right in this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat DJ, if you are up listening, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the gap. Hey, RBD Vet, welcome to the gathering of hearts on this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the heart gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is a continuation from yesterday. Pruning is a reward part two. Hey, heartbeat, Dalita. Pruning is a reward part two. And so yesterday we got into it and we began to talk about how pruning is really good for us. I asked you guys to switch your brain and understand that pruning is something that God does when he loves us, that he, he wants the best for us. And so, you know, we've you know, learn that pruning is a bad thing. It does this and it does that. But when you switch your brain and understand that it is something that God is doing with you and for you, you understand now that this is something that I need to be better. So let's just pick up from yesterday. Pruning is not something that feels good, right? Because you're being corrected, right? But it helps you. So pruning is not something that feel good, feels good. Pruning exposes us. Remember I talked about yesterday that when a tree is cut down or pruned, sometimes it's cut so much that it looks like there's nothing there. So everything is exposed. You can see the branches. You can see the marks on the branches. Everything is exposed. And that's what is happening to us when we're being pruned. We're being exposed. What are you being exposed to, Pastor G? You're being exposed to you. God is now showing you you. Hey, Harvey, Rodney, and be Carolyn. God is now showing you you. He's showing you now that you need him. He's showing you that you can be better. He's stripping away everything that does not resemble him. He's stripping away everything that's not working for you. However, the things that are still good, you know, the good fruit that's there, now he's shaping and he's molding that. And so although pruning is painful, it's very positive for you. Pruning is an indication that that you're still connected to the vine, the true God, the true vine, you are still producing fruit. And so when, remember with those branches, when they are cut back, they cut off all of the dead branches, the branches that aren't working, but then they shape and mold the branches that are. And that's how, when it begins to grow again, it's beautiful. It's more beautiful than it was before it got cut. Same thing happening with you. When God begins to prune you again, He's stripping away everything that's not working in your life. He's stripping away everything that's hindering you in life. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be a coworker. It could be, it could be a whole lot of things. Whatever it is that is hindering you from walking in his ways, that's what this pruning is doing. But then all of the good things that are there that need enhancing, pruning enhances those good things so that they're able to blossom, so that they're able to grow. So remember, pruning takes away the bad part, but perfects the good part. I'm going to say that again. Hey, Harvey Juanita, pruning takes away the bad part, but it perfects the good part. Pruning positions you to produce greater, which means new growth, right? Pruning says God's hand is still on your life. And that right there is a place to shout. It says as his hand is still on your life and there's still a purpose to be fulfilled. 
Pruning sharpens your focus. Why? Because all of the distractions have been cut away. And so now your focus is on God. Now your focus is on becoming better. Now your focus is aligning with the will of God for your life. Remember, there's no more what I want. So it's not about what Regina wants. It's about what does God want Regina to do? You know, it's going to go against what Regina wants because the flesh wants what it wants, but the spirit wants what it wants too. And so when you are, you allow God to prune you, this is what's happening. Now you're no longer doing the things that you want to do, but you're doing the things that God would have you to do. It puts things now in perspective for you. It helps you to prioritize the things of God. It helps you to put the things that matter to God first. Not what matters to you, but what matters to God first. So pruning is a blessing. Pruning is a reward. Let's look at Psalm 9412, Amplified Version. And it says this, blessed with wisdom and prosperity is the man whom you discipline and instruct. O Lord, and whom you teach from your law. And so here we see that pruning is a reward that when God selects you and says that I'm going to teach you, it says that you are blessed with wisdom and prosperity because now you're not thinking like you. You're bringing your thoughts and your ways up to God's ways. And that's a real good thing because now you're really being transformed. That spiritual formation where you are intentionally doing what's needed to be done, that you would mimic and look more like Jesus, that thing is happening now. And now you're blessed with wisdom and you're blessed with prosperity. It says, blessed is the man with wisdom and prosperity Charity. Um, whom you discipline, which means God, he takes the time to discipline you. He takes the time to instruct you. He sees so much in you that he wants you to get this right, that he loves you so much that he doesn't want to see you on skid road anymore, right? He wants to see you on the straight and narrow path for your life. And so he's transforming you right before your very eyes. So pruning is a reward. Yesterday, we started out with one. It is an act of God's love to Towards you. That's the first reward. Second, it produces spiritual growth that causes you to be more like him. It strengthens your character and your faith. And today, number three, it causes you to, de to depend on God, not on others, not even on yourself. The Passion Translation says it like this. It says, so you must remain in life with me. I'm back in John 15, 5. So you must remain in life remain in life union with me for I remain in life union with you for as a branch severed from the vine will not bear fruit. So your life will be fruitless unless you live life intimately joined to mine. And so you must remain in life. It means your entire existence. Once you decide that you have given your life to God, now your job is to depend solely on God, not on yourself, not on others. God wants us to depend on him. Pruning is a reward here because it teaches us to abide in Christ, to stay connected to God. Abiding in God means I live in total obedience and I live in total dependence on God's never ending supply of grace, which means again, I'm not dependent on me. I'm dependent on God because I can't do it in my own strength. I can only do it with the strength of God. Remember the scripture says, I can do all things through God who strengthens me in Jesus Christ who strengthens me. So it's not you. It is God that does the work. It is Jesus the Christ who does the work. When you switch your brain and understand that you don't have to depend on you, that whatever happens is not on you, that it's all coming from the strength of God, strength of Jesus the Christ, you realize that there is nothing that you can't do. So abiding in Christ means resting in him, assured that he's got me and that because he's got me, I've got everything I need. So again, pruning is a reward. It strips me of me and it gives me all of him. It is in the pruning that I decrease 
he increases and then he gets the glory out of my life. And so pruning is a reward. It is a reward. It is a privilege to sit at the hands of Jesus. It is a privilege to sit at the hands of God and allow him to mold us and allow him to strengthen us and allow him to take away the things that we've been fighting for years. Those things that we couldn't give up, although we tried so many times. But when we switch our brain and understand understand that I can't do it, but the father who loves me can, and he is able and he is willing to do it. It is in the switching of the brain that I realize now pruning is a reward. It's not a punishment. I'm not in time out. I'm in time with the father and he has sat down to spend time with me, to shape me, to mold me. He finds me worthy regardless of what I've done, regardless of what I'm going through. He sees me valuable. He sees me worthy and he sees me looking just like him. It is a reward. Pruning is a reward. Again, it's not a punishment. It is a reward that God gives to those he loves. Hey, listen, that's the daily dosage for today. Pruning is a reward part two. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find every dosage that you will ever need. And even if you overdose on them, this overdose, it won't kill you, but it will heal you. Follow me on social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website. God wants me whole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. God wants me whole and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there, have a speck while amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And I'll be right back here tomorrow as we pick this thing up. Pruning is a reward. Again, I love you guys. Hug yourself real tight. That is for me. Make it spec while amazing. And I'll be right back here in the morning with pruning is a reward part three.